On that previous episode, we got a lot done, but over the weekend, I did a bunch of farming. Toothpick, we got that. The Seeker, the Antagonist, I got the Mouthwash. I got all the Lead Storms, man, dude, no joke. Where is it at? Rabid, Lead Storm, Fire, Match and Grip took, I can't even tell you how long. It took hours to get over the weekend. I uh, wanted to rip my hair out. <laughs> this thing would not show up, but I finally got it. It took so, so long. Crossfire. Uh, retainer and I got a better B shield uh, over the weekend. I did test on Hadarax with my current setup and We could pull it off, but it was like really really difficult So I figured over the weekend I'd go ahead and farm a uh, better B shield to make it a little bit easier So hopefully with this we can like actually do it That took a while too, like uh, seven B shields to get that so actually kind of lucky if you think about it Anyways, here's the uh, build And yeah chat off you go. Let's do it yeah, like I said, today's gonna be Hatterax Day. We gotta do it, man. I want that peak opener, so let's do it. Hello, you. I'll take that mission. Thank you. Do we have the Iridium? I spent all of my Iridium on upgrades over the weekend, too, so... Alright, hold up. Hold up. We'll just do Bad Maw. It's fine. So we actually need 40 Iridium, and you might be thinking, why 40? Basically, if you have the cutscene, you have a weird cycle for Hatterax, uh, but after the cutscene, you have a normal cycle. And I need that normal cycle. In order to like pull off my kill. Oop. Oh yeah, if you did not know, Bad Maw or enemies in general are invincible for a little teeny tiny bit of time after spawning in. So you can't like kill them right away. Oh hey, we're done here, cool. Alright, sitting on. Hatterax, let's go. After we respec, hold up, let's go to Backburner. So my strat for Hatterax is going to be kill my turret with the double Gemini thing and then activate Metal Storm for all that, you know, AMP damage. That's the build right there. Gemini for killing turret, let me show you. So basically you throw turret number one and then you pick up turret number one when you're throwing uh, turret number two. And then the game's like, oh, you can't spawn that. It dies, you get a kill skill, see? So we're gonna be using that for the, uh, the strat here. For those who don't know, if you hold the toothpick and have the retainer shield on, you run fast and you jump high, but only for this map though. Okay, we're gonna spawn Hatterax. All right, wait for the spawn. Okay, cutscene's over, and we have Hatterax, now save quit. You might be wondering why save quit. Well, now we don't have the weird cycle where Hatterax was going to be spawned in, like, right away. Uh, which means we can actually, you know, pre-fire at him before he, like, jumps up. And I need that for the skill. Three, two, one, go. Walked. <laughs> Come on, man. Okay, boom. Boom. I didn't throw turret again. Or I didn't throw a uh, crossfire. But we might be okay. Okay, B shield. Fire. And then crit damage. So hold a hail. Okay, not a bad chunk. That might be enough for knocking him over. So basically, I'm gonna knock him over when he's over here. Not over here. Not over here. Um, over here is gonna be like the best cycle for like aiming at the mouth. Jump to the right, not left. Please. Control. So boom. 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 Uh, looks like it's not enough for the fall over. Nope, not yet. Thanks for the support, dude. Here it is. Okay, he fell over. Fire swift. Yeah. Moment of truth. This is the uh the hard part, the RNG part. No slag. And then it slags at the very, very end. Are you kidding me, man? <sighs> yeah, that's a fail. And remember, the peak opener is a one in three from the chest. So 
We might not even get it if we pull off the kill. I know, it's a bummer. It's all good though, it's all good. We'll get it. Maybe throw one grenade, and then we try to like get the uh, Metal Storm. Okay. And then we swap. Whoa, my gun freaked out. <laughs> Dude, good chunks, look at that. Really, really good. Okay, that's a good start. Dude, that was so many crits. Come on, man. Nope. Okay, come on. You have to fall over. Unreal. Really? Oh! Dude, he faked me out. Uh-oh. I wasn't ready for this. Okay, so... No slag. And my Betty hit me. Are you kidding me? Or no, a worm hit me. Dude, look at that damage, though. If he slagged, it's triple that damage. Like, that would have been the kill. Yeah, also the delay of him falling over uh, wasted a bunch of my Metal Storm. This might be the hardest part of the playthrough so far. 150 crit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good chunk. Okay, that was one bullet. Are you kidding me? He fell over. <sighs> Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh! No! No damage over time, he's gonna heal. Dude, that mechanic right there sucks. It should be guaranteed, like, if you shoot him, he doesn't heal there. What are you... Are you under the floor? What are you doing, man? That was, uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Whoa! Did he jump over? Did he, like, teleport there? That was weird. He just, like, disappeared, I think. Oh! Okay, here we go again. We have another shot. Please. And crit swap too if I need it. Oh! Please! Oh, we got it! We got it! Dude, that worm, he had to show up, but he didn't hit me this time. Get out of here. You're dead to me. Oh, trying to ruin my kill. Oh, <laughs> we did it! Oh, man. That was that was tricky. Dude, slag RNG, man. Alright, moment of truth. This box right here. Yes! And a matching grip. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, game, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, game, thank you. Game, if I didn't tell you already, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, thumbnail, hold up, hold up. Can't forget about that. Oh, we got a um, easy mode, too. And a Ravager. That's not bad, but we don't need that. Oh, dude, matching grip, too. Look at that. Oh! Hey, thank you. Read only, thank you. I give that farm a 10 out of 10. Uh-huh. <laughs> when you do things that are challenging like that, without doing, like, the meta, it's a good feeling. We really lucked out, for real. Matching grip on this, man. Like, what the heck? New name. Let's go. No doubt we're doing that name. That is a good one. All right, let me get to the uh, thing first. Hadderaxton. I can't spell. Axton. Got it. Dude, it works out so perfectly. Are we gonna respect to? Fix the build. I fixed the build. Cool. Much better. Dude, let's get an evolution. Like, replace the antagonist right now for, like, survivability. Let's go get a uh, Tinacom real quick so we can survive the reflection kill. So, ideally, I want to get, like, plus six on grid, but I'll take a plus five. It'll be fine. Oh! Oh, there's no grid on it. Really? No, not the one. Oh. Five on grid, four impact, four ranger. Chaotic neutral, four mag. That should be fine. We'll take that. All right, we can move on. Yo, look at this. No slag, right? UVHM, by the way. 40% chance to not die. Alright, that should be fine. Alright, there's the build. Boom. What a build. Chopper, antagonist, and then, like, Shadow of the Seraphs. Sure. Turret kill for all the Metal Storm. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on. We did a little chunk there. You can see that. Not bad. But it wasn't enough. Do the noise, I know, right? It's so good. All right, here we go. Now. Oh, I killed a bot. Ah. Uh. Dude, the noise. Oh, that poor bot, dude. Oh. Come on. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yes, we got him. We got him. Heck yeah. And we got a Tattler, though. Aww. <laughs> we actually got him, though. Whew. That's a good feeling. Okay. Uh, and maybe a Shredder Fire, possibly? That'd be cool. Oh, there it is. Bladed Tattler. Shock. 
Okay, because we got the kill, let's see if we can do like a different uh, reflection. You know, Thumpson is higher damage. So the reflection would be technically easier. Shoot is gonna be... Scroll down. Dude, with Metal Storm too. Just to maximize the kill, let me get a better Thumpson. Alright, nope. Oh! Yo, Bandit Grip Stability, Doll Stock, that's fine. Five runs. Our Thumpson luck has been insane for the run so far. Mouthwash with the Thumpson. Because, I mean, we can't really boost non-elemental damage unless we're doing like that or uh, Assault Rifle damage, right? Oh! Dude, that was a fast one. And we got that. Oh. Kuroto. No, bro. Don't need the Kuroto, bro. And I'm not seeing a legendary, so we definitely did not get the Shreddifier. Oh, we got him! <gasps> and we got it! Hanshin. Hyperion? TD or Bro. What is that? Uh, 6th grade? 70? I don't think 70. It doesn't have Malawan. I'm thinking like 67 or 69 for the percentage. And I'm not just guessing that for the memes. I'm like, I feel like that's gonna be it. 69, look at that. Nice. <laughs> okay, we got our shield. And yeah, we didn't get a shredder fire. And honestly, hey, we already got a shredder fire for the run. So we don't really need to farm like another one. We have to get one more item, Chad. And that item is the ogre. We gotta get the ogre. Hey, good news, we're farming it in normal mode. I know what you're thinking, why not farm it in UVHM? I tried off stream on a uh, different character. Dude, I cannot survive with assault rifles only. Uh, it, it's just a bunch of fastball chucking and like hoping you don't die. Yeah, we gotta farm it normal. Hey, we can put on the B shield to make it good, right? Uh, yeah, I hate myself for doing it, but dude, it's a one in six, right? To get the ogre. If I have to do the final round six times, I'm gonna go insane. And plus that would be like two full videos of like magic slaughter. I'm good. I wanna get it for the collection, that's it. Okay, back to the build. Boom. Yeah, we have to do the whole DLC, though. Which is fine. Not a big deal. Kill him with the E-Tech Blaster. You know... I like the way you think. That work? Wait, what? This Dude, I was about to say, how are you not dying? Right. I must have hit the armor. Dude, I feel so fast. Kind of crazy. That should be one. Yep. Then we go over here. Aim for number two. Yeah, you can save time if you uh, save quit and do this. Cool. Wait for the check mark, and we can go for the safe win. I didn't get the third one. Oops. <laughs> I'm reading chat. I'm sorry. Roland. Oh, I think I might have broke the mission. Okay, mission not broken, but Roland broken. They normally resist elements, right? Dude, that's still like pretty resistant. Hey, you made it. Good job, Roland. I knew you could do it. Oh, I got the double. Was I too slow there? I must have been. Yo, let me get the grog nozzle. Just kidding. Hold on, we're gonna find out. So, boom. Run. Maybe jump here. Oh! Yo! The skip, dude. We just saved a little bit of time. Oh! There we go. The skip. Beautiful. Just like that. Alright, we doing the skip. So, let me drop my grenade real quick. We'll pick it back up, don't worry. It ain't gone forever. Jump here. You jump here. And the skip, dude. And now I'm gonna pick my grenade back up. What up, Golem? Fight! Rip. Yo, drop me a drop. Wait! Are you kidding me? We actually got a drop. That's a dedicated, if you didn't know. Uh, what is the chance for that anyways? Anyone know? It's like really low. 1.95% chance we got the deliverance. Are you kidding me? Dude, less than 2% chance we got that. Dude, I am so fast. This is fun. Dead. Cool. Before we end the video, I just want to let you guys know I stream these playthroughs live. If you do want to catch one, you can check the description for my Twitch channel. Also, while you're down there, check out my Discord. Free to join, and I would love to have you. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.